Hey y'all, my name is Tammy. Welcome to Southern Angel Stamping. I'm now an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here to share my ideas with you. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, so these are the supplies that you will need to make this card that I'm going to do. I'm, the stamp set I'm using is Happy Birthday Gorgeous. And if you are wanting this um, stamp set, you need to see about getting it now because it is a retired stamp set and it will no longer be available as of June 3rd. So this is a real nice stamp set to have. You can do quite a bit of cards with it. Um, it has the cute balloons, uh, the little flowers that you can do. Um, I've used this several times. I made even a Mother's Day card with it. I showed y'all how to make that with it in a video. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out. I made the whole little background, like my own series paper with it. So yeah, you can go check that out. Uh, just using the flowers, so you don't have to use it as just a birthday. There's a lot of cute ways you can use this. Um, it also comes with the balloon punch so you can get it as a bundle. So yeah, go, you can go check that out on my site. Uh, the link will be down below in the description for you to click on. So yes, this is the uh, stamp set I will be using. I've already pre-done everything so this video won't be so long since I have a problem with long videos on my phone. Uh, but this, um, you'll need your blocks. The blocks for this you're going to need is um, A, B, and G. You're going to need some adhesive, um, you know, some either glue dots. I've just got some actually leftover glue dots. Um, from one of the paper pumpkin kits. I've got some small mini stamp dimensionals here, uh, or some glue. You can use large dimensionals if you want, just any kind of adhesive. Uh, I've also got my uh, snail. You're gonna need, of course, your bone folder, scissors. Uh, probably want some kind of little blings or something, some kind of decoration. Of course, you're going to need your ink, probably a black, your memento ink. The inks I'm using are Flirty, Fling Flirty Flamingo ugh, and uh, Bermuda Bay. These are the colors I'm using for this particular uh, one. And these are some of the new colors. Uh, and then I've got some leftover black twine from one of the uh, paper pumpkins that I'm probably I might use. Now the um, see I've already pre-done the because um, I didn't want that to take so long because I didn't have the punch. So what I did I um, ended up fussy cutting those. So you can fussy cut them. That does take a little time. I made a mask and um, laid it down what you can do and I'll just show you real quickly you can stamp it Mango 
Where does this one go? No. It's the Daffodil Delight. Yeah, we'll try the Daffodil Delight. We'll get one of those. Not quite if I decide I want to use that because I was wondering if I had too much paint. So let me see. I think I did. I don't remember. Did I do the outside first or the inside? Where are my balloons? Oh, got it on here. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I did the outside or the inside first. I'm going to get my little stamp mat. Now my eyes are not the best and my hands are very shaky so I tell you what, having the Stamparatus, which I don't have, I do have a different one, but um, if you have the Stamparatus or one of those stamp mats, it does make it a little easier. Um, Just using the blocks. your balloon without the hooray in there. Clean that off. Cover my ink up. And then you get your other balloon. one first and the other one I don't think it really matters okay that came out pretty good and that's all you do and then if you have the punch of course you don't have to really do all that but well you can still punch it out but punch usually you just use put this down and then you punch it out but that's how you do it if you don't have the punch and then you just fussy cut it around the black lines um, I'm not gonna do all that cuz it'll take some time but that's all it is So if you don't like fussy cutting or you're not very good at it, yeah, I get the punch. But that's how you do it if you don't want the hooray on there. So just want to share that little tip. And uh, move this out of the way now. Okay, so. For the um, card and everything, here are the pieces we're going to need. So we're going to need three balloons. Move that one out of the way. And you can pick your colors. Now the colors I'm using are the Flirty Flamingo. I've got two Flirty Flamingos and a Bermuda, Bla Bermuda Bay. I don't know why my mouth is not working tonight. <laughs> and um, then I've got the um, the series pack oh what is it called um, I think that's what it is called so, I don't want to have it laying around here
Okay. Um, here it is, right here. Uh, the Brights. This is it right here. Bright Designer Series Paper. The six by six. And I just pulled out a piece and I cut it. Got all the measurements here. Uh, just cut a strip out of the flirty flamingo. It's a five and one fourth by five eighths. Um, and then your card front is um, a piece of white, and it's five and one fourth by three and three fourths. I'm terrible at measurements, so that's why I had to go ahead and make sure I had all this written down. Then the card, uh, the card base itself is petal pink, and uh, let's see, it measures eight and a half by uh, five and a half, and then you score it and fold it at four and a fourth. Okay. And this is also going to be out of stock as of June the 3rd, the petal pink, all the petal pink, so you're going to want to um, stock up on that and get that if you want any of the petal pink cardstock or uh, ink or embellishments or anything. Okay, so, and this is going to all go on there like that, so I'm going to move this out of the way, I'm ready for that. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm making a birthday card, and I've got a design I really need to go by because I'm doing it for um, my Facebook group also. So um, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here. My daughter I wanted to make a card for my daughter's birthday, and then um, I'm gonna look in here and make sure y'all can see this. Okay, and I'm sorry the lighting is just awful. Let me turn on this other light for you guys. See if that'll help. at night because I just don't have enough light but you know sometimes we just that's when we end up doing videos and I just have terrible lighting oh let's get back in my craft room hopefully the lighting will be better though for y'all so yeah like I said I've got to do um, this is I don't know if y'all can see this on my camera by the camera here or not but um, or phone this is my old phone um, so I saved the picture on it so I could see it since I video on my new one and um, I have to kind of go by this pattern so that's what I'm trying to do and um, I thought I would do something maybe like this something like that and I'll probably pop those up or something and then this will go down here and um, then I'll put probably happy birthday over here with my stamp let's see I kind of got an idea of what I'm doing, but then I'm kind of just going around here, not sure what I'm doing. So this will go down here a little bit like that. And this should 
it on its block. It's supposed to fit on this. It's supposed to fit on B block. Tell you what, I've re-inked my memento. And I think I over-inked it. You can see the, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can see ink. Right there, just coming out of this ink pad. Alright, maybe I should go ahead and stamp it before I put my balloons down. I'll tell you what, I hate stamping on cards because sometimes I do not stamp very well. I always like stamping on something else and attaching it. I don't know if y'all are like that or not. some grid paper around on my thing. That way I can tell if I'm straight or not. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's a little splotchy. But I'm just not going to worry with it now. I'm going to try and redo it. I'm just going to have to go with it. Oh, excuse me, my allergies. I've got the sniffles, something terrible. Okay, we're just going to go with that and leave it. And I'm not going to try to be perfectionist with it. Not tonight. I've got just a little splotch with it. Okay, so. Um, my thought was, I did one before and I've never showed it to you on video. But if you follow me on like. Uh, Instagram or I've posted on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If you follow me on any of those other sites, I'm sure y'all have seen the pictures of the other little birthday card I did. Um, I wrapped some twine around the the uh, balloons and had it coming down. That's what I'm going to try and do here. Ooh, I'm hungry. So my... I still haven't been feeling well. And um, I spent most of the day in bed. <laughs> and I'm trying to get some needed rest since I haven't been feeling well and when I woke up my daughter went and got me something to eat since I hadn't ate all day so I tried to eat a little bit of it she went to Taco Bell and got me something and I ate 
couple of bites and I just wasn't hungry. Now I feel hungry. <laughs> so I guess after this video, I'll have to go and eat me something. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. Around the stamps. Or around the balloons. Not the stamps. Around those balloons. <laughs> just should have really just. left more of the outside of the balloon and I didn't. Like the punch does, and this I didn't. That's okay. I'm gonna go with it. But I think it's gonna be all right. I hope so. Just gonna cut me three little pieces of twine here. Cut them a little bit longer than they really need to be. Try this again. I mean, I've emptied everything on my phone, so I, I don't know what's going on. And I've got an SD card in my phone, so... I've only got a couple of videos in my phone that are in there for me to finish, so I don't, I don't know what... I am not technical, I don't know about phones. scraggly pieces and I want these to be together I think what we're going to have to do is get a piece of twine and tie it in that knot too short. I don't know why I tied that so small. Well, you know what? We'll just see if we can't wrap this. Okay, that's not going to work either. Um, get another piece. We'll do it longer this time. 
I'm not real good with these tiny little things. My fingers don't cooperate. <laughs> when you got shaky hands. I feel like I'm making a mess out of this video tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just not doing very well tonight. Camera in my hands. I need an extra hands and one to hold this thing down. Someone hold that for me. Someone hold all these strings. That's my problem. These strings are in my way. This just ain't working. My phone's gonna shut off on me before I can get this done. Um, let me see, maybe I can need like a piece of removable tape or something. Hold on y'all, let me pause it. Okay, got me a piece of masking tape, so maybe that'll hold that down. To where I can tie this. So yeah, if you're having trouble, get you a piece of masking tape. That worked. Down. 
this piece. glue dots or glue or whatever you have. I think I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. About using one of these tiny things, but you know what? I don't know. I've got these also that match. These are um, the glitter enamel dots. I've never used any of these yet. I think I might use some of these. Flirty Flamingo or the Bermuda Bay. That Bermuda Bay really pops right there. I am thinking the Bermuda Bay because it helps bring out that balloon. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Bermuda Bay. Should I put it down there or should I put it right up here? Maybe right down here. I think I should put three of these right there. Let's do that. Oh, this is the Quick Pick tool. If y'all haven't seen my other video, I just recently got this. This is a great little tool. It's got a sticky on one end, which I need to cover it up. Uh, picks up great little uh, sequins, little embellishments. And then this, it's got this end. It's got another attachment, uh, the little ball attachments like uh, another one 
Because I almost got it. I thought, no, I don't have it here. Um, I don't have it here with me at the moment, but, um, you know, where you can, um, you can pick things up with it. You could, uh, how you get your flower petals. You want shape to your flower petals. I know y'all have seen those tools before, so it's got multiple tools with it and it's got an extra one of these also so it's a great little tool to have um, in your stash so I really suggest this tool right here um, if you don't have one you definitely want to pick one of these up so there is that now I need to attach this Here, and that's going to make a really pretty card. Yep, that's a pretty card. I hope that looks enough like this pattern. Not sure if that's what they were want or not. This is the first time I've ever done this. So, I was trying to think outside the box on it. So I have got to place this down. Where do I want to place it down? Oh, a snail. Duh. We will use the snail. Since I don't have my other glue. So, why is there snail up here? Did I miss some? Awful lot of snail there. These are great if you don't have these. And they come with refills. I've got to get me some refills. I love the snail. I see some ladies just go whoop, whoop, whoop with them real quick. But every time I do that, I mess up. So. I waste it, so I try to go a little slower. Okay. And there is my card. Now, I'm going to probably... I don't know if I'm going to stamp something in it or not, but you can always put your sentiment inside. But for right now, I'm going to leave it just like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Please comment down below. And I uh, do apologize for the mess up with the video. I don't know why my camera keeps doing this. I'm gonna have to figure something out, but I keep trying the video with it doing this. Uh, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And those who have subscribed, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching again. And um, please come back and see more videos. I have plenty more videos to uh, do and upload and show y'all. So I thank y'all and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.